Well, it is election season and not just the 2019 Lok Sabha elections, but also assembly elections. And after postponement uh, multiple times, the Grand Alliance in Telangana has finally put out its first list of candidates. The Congress has announced candidates for 65 seats, Telugu Desam for 9, the TGS for 6 and CPI for 3. Besides these, there will be friendly fights between Grand Alliance partners in at least four seats where they could not come to an understanding. Now, Congress um, has been protesting the EC move to go with pink ballot paper. Congress says the e Election Commission should know pink is TRS party color and filing of nomination papers now have begun. 48 candidates have filed the nomination on Monday. My colleague Uma Sudhir now joins us from Hyderabad. Uma, very good morning to you indeed. An interesting development there. The alliance, the grand alliance has come out with their names, but they do have a problem with the color of the ballot now, it seems. <laughs> Yes, indeed. Uh, they have represented to the election commission here saying that uh, TRS has uh, pink as their party color. In fact, all their uh, campaign material happens to be in pink. And if the ballot paper also is in pink, then there would be a problem. There would be an identification with the party and that would be discrimination and uh, they would be unfavorably favored by the um, by the electorate and that is their fear and apprehension and that's the reason why uh, they have represented to the election commission. This comes at a time when, uh, in fact, you have... Uh, the Grand Alliance after multiple kind of postponements coming up with their first list. They have only put out, Congress has put out only 65 out of the 94 that they are expected to contest. Uh, the TJS has put out six. They are also going to be contesting more number of seats and the Telugu Desam has put out nine out of the 14 that they are expected to contest. There is also a CPI in the reckoning which could be contesting three to four seats at least. But what they have now agreed to disagree on uh, is that uh, they will not be uh, you know, independent of each other in all the seats. In some of the seats where they are going to be multiple uh, kind of uh, you know, claims by the different alliance partners, they are going to have friendly fights in those places. But political observers pointing out that that may actually not be a very good idea politically because if they are going to cut into the opposition vote, they may end up giving those seats to the, uh, the ruling party TRS on a platter. Kodandaram, who is a, uh, you know, the chief of the TJS, has very clearly said and all the alliance partners have also said that their single point agenda is to defeat the TRS, bring down the ruling party and uh, if they are going to have these kind of contests in uh, these seats, uh, 25 seats at least, um, and out of the 25, at least we are going to have 7 to 8 that are going to have multiple candidates from the opposition side, the, uh, the TRS is going to be uh, in an advantage for sure. But of course, rebel. Our rebels are part of every election and even in this uh, election, not just the Grand Alliance, but the TRS is also facing some trouble and therefore security at Gandhi Bhavan, which is the Congress headquarters and also at Telangana Bhavan, which is the TRS headquarters, at both those places security has been up uh, for the TRS, for instance, for Khairatabad. There are multiple contenders. Mr. Govardhan Reddy uh, sees himself as a candidate, but the TRS seems inclined to give that to Dhanam Nagender, who is in fact moved from the Congress uh, to the TRS party and is seen as a local strongman. There is also Vijaya Reddy, daughter of uh, a former leader, Congress leader, Janardhan Reddy, who, who has been in the TRS and she is hoping to get Kartabad seat. So multiple contenders, all parties certainly have to go through this kind of a, uh, you know, kind of a turmoil at, uh, at a nomination time until the time of withdrawal of uh, those uh, forms at least. And therefore, uh, that kind of drama is certainly going on. A lot of politics and a lot of political uh, talks going on in the background. We are also expecting the uh, the TJ, the, the Common Alliance, the Grand Alliance to come up with a common minimum program uh, today or maximum tomorrow. Back to you.